Hello and welcome to Lord Mayor. This is a game that just came out just a couple days ago, and it is a uh, it's a city builder, but it's more a uh, a puzzle game than anything else. Um, we'll get in here and, and, and kind of explain it a little better. But uh, basically, we're tasked with this job of uh, of building a city, and uh, we have certain requirements that we have to meet, and these requirements are met by building specific buildings, like churches and, and taverns and gardens and things. Um, now when we place these buildings down, they all have, uh, they, they will help one resource, but they will hurt another resource. So that's kind of where the puzzle game comes in. You want to, it's where you're going to, where the things will get placed, and uh, and what's going to be placed next to. That's sort of the uh, the challenge, the strategy part of the game. Um, I've already done the tutorial, and for some reason there's no way of going back to the tutorial. So we're going to move on to Port Henry, and that will be what we're going to show off here. So this is our task. It is, we have 120 days. This is going to be in real time. We'll see it ticking up here in a second. And our goals, our resources that we have to hit are these right here. Population, happiness, prosperity, and culture. Now we start, of course, with zero across the board. Uh, when we place, the way this is going to work, so we, we're going to start with uh, like farms, which will provide food, and which then we can build houses, villas, or, or something else, which will give us population. And once we get, uh, that, that's how we get our population score. For culture, for instance, we can build a church. However, a church is going to hurt our, I think it's happiness? It hurts another one of the categories. Um, so you have to sort of balance things. Uh, and another thing is, we could, like say you build a garden next to the church, then that will help the church do what it does. So it's a lot of little balancing sort of strategy kind of things. It's actually kind of fun. Um, anyways, this is our map. And you can see these are water tiles, which we cannot build on. We have uh, this, the beach over here, which is bad for farms and bad for f uh, forts. Bad for happiness from forts. Uh, the grass is green, which is good for uh, like farms. And dirt is good for everything else. So that is what we're going to do. So let's go ahead and start building. Uh, first off, we need to get a wheat farm, which will provide us with food, but it's going to hurt our prosperity. Uh, because basically we're going to turn into like a, like a little farming town, which is not very prosperous. So we're going to place out a few farms. Use all of our gold to make these farms, and it's going to, you can see our prosperity just tanking at the moment. And, however, we now have cash so we can build, um, we can build things. So, our choices are between a villa, slums, and cottages. So a villa will give us only 20 houses, 20 population. However, it'll also give us a little bit of prosperity and a little bit of culture. Slums, on the other hand, is a lot of houses, but it's going to hurt our happiness. Cottages is kind of a balance between the two. We're going to go with cottages. I think it's a nice balance. And we're going to throw a few of those in here. You can right-click on them, and it'll tell us all this stuff as well. Each cottage will produce a moderate amount of gold and brown stuff. I don't know what the brown stuff means, but it'll produce that every day. Okay. Uh, oh, what did I say about slums? Unlike slums, cottages do not increase the negative security output when they're in the other... There's any, okay, okay. Yeah, don't put slums next to each other. Noted. Uh, we can throw a villa in there. Look. Throw a couple of villas in. Uh, we'll try to avoid the, the slums, I think. That might be a good idea. Let's avoid those. But we'll throw in a few of these. We need to work on prosperity. That's going to be our first mission, because we don't want to get that too far. I think it drops like negative 25, you lose, something like that. we got to hit 250 in order to start building new things. Uh, the school is going to be the next thing we can get. We can see we have to unlock these with certain populations. Now, schools will give us literacy, which literacy is prosperity. Um, and uh, so placing nearby schools, too many schools next to each other, they hurt the literacy output that they put out. So kind of a, um, you, know, you don't want too, too many in one spot. They also hurt the city's happiness for some reason. I don't know why. But school, we're going to put a school over here, sure. And we can see prosperity starting to rise. Let me put another one over here as soon as we get some cash. And then we'll have to deal with our happiness. Put a school over here with the farms. Here for the farm kids. We need how much cash we need? We need 500 gold for that. Now we can throw some villas in. Villas um, provide a substantial amount of gold and small amount of brown stuff. So why don't we do? Yeah, let's do a villa. Do a couple more villas. A few more villas, and then we can throw in. Um, oh, we'll just wait for our cash to come rolling. In. Can your cash should come skyrocketing here? You can see we're already on day 11. It is uh, slowly creeping along there. We can now build a church. Churches provide faith, which is culture, um, but they and they're twenty percent more effective with a garden nearby and thirty percent less effective with another church or cathedral nearby. 
But it hurts our, um... What's that saying? Yeah, it gives us, gives us culture, but it hurts our prosperity. Which we don't really want to take the dive on prosperity at the moment. So let's not do that right now. We will do another school, though. Boink. Over here for the farm kids. That'll slowly eke the prosperity up. We just need more population, I think. We should just focus on that. So let's get some cottages out here. Come to the cottage over this way as soon as we get some cash. Or some brown stuff, whatever that is. Maybe we should just focus on prosper or on uh, uh, population now for a while. Our happiness is not very good. We could throw in a few villas. Happiness, I think a tavern will give us happiness. I can't look at the th help thing unless I can build it. Throw one more tavern or um, villa in there. We can now build a garden, which we can stick next to our church, which we will build eventually. Um, now clinics will help the health, which I think health is health is happiness. That's probably one thing we need. It hurts the faith, which is culture. We can take a hit on the culture at the moment. Less effective if taverns or other clinics are nearby. Okay, so don't put clinics and taverns next to each other. All right, so let's throw a tavern or a clinic over there. And we can throw one over here. And you can see our culture just tanking at the moment. But happiness is very good right now. So now we need to get culture. Let's see if we can about that with a church, which we can put right here. And along with the church, we're going to put in a garden. Right next to the church, because it helps it out. There we go, and you can see it bumping up. Now prosperity needs some help. Now our goal was to get, what was it, like 15, 15, 10? I don't remember what it was, but we need to get some prosperity. Which is going to be workshops, I think. Provides, provides the city with productivity and decreasing the other two. But it's a big help to prosperity. Or productivity, which is that, right? Yes. Uh, nearby hospital reduces the negative health output by 35%. Health vital will be a clinic, I think. Um, yeah, so put this next to a clinic. Which one's, which one's the clinic? This one. So let's put one here. And we can put one over here, too. Like that. Okay, prosperity is doing quite nice. We still need a we need a lot more houses. Let's throw in more cottages. I don't really want to do slums. Slums, I don't think. I just don't think I want to do them. If we get to where we are, like our numbers over here are really good, then we can we can afford to throw some slums in. But I don't think so at the at the moment. Throw a couple more villas in there. Now what can we do about happiness? What's what's the um I can't see him right now. We'll focus on getting our happiness taken care of. Uh and then we'll just we're just we're we need thirteen hundred more population, which shouldn't be too difficult to get. Uh amphitheater provides happiness at the and it hurts prosperity. But also reduces that. Nearby taverns and hotels increase the effectiveness of it. You want to go ahead and do that? Let's do it. Let's do it. Where was it? This one. Wait, we went that next to what? Next to a tavern. Which the tavern looks like... Purple guy. So like right here or down here. It's kind of... It's not, not much of a hit. It's a little... Bit, our happiness is going okay, I guess. Um, tavern will give us happiness. And it'll hurt. No, taverns are strange. Taverns. Nearby forts and const constabularies. Do I? I can't think I can build those. But they will give us happiness, and they also hurt our happiness a little bit. So, okay. Tavern, it is. That's the tavern I, that's the tavern I was looking for. Not the, that was the school I think I looked at before. So we can put a tavern over there, and we can put a tavern... I don't know. Put another one in. Sure, taverns. We like taverns. Taverns are very happy. Yeah, look at the happiness go. Oh, yeah, drink up. Is there anything I don't want to put next to a tavern? I forget. Church, maybe? No? 
Clinic? Oh, clinics. Clinics are less effective if taverns or other clinics are nearby. So don't put them next to clinics, which clinics look like the green guy, which I just did. I just did twice. All right, let's let's uh, let's do some modifying here. We just have to wait for the brown stuff. Which, which, which one gives me more brown? I think cottages gives me a moderate amount of brown. What about slums? I can't look at them until they show up. Oh, there they go. Small amount of gold. Oh, a substantial amount of brown. Oh, maybe we should do one. Don't put them next to each other because that'll that hurts. But I think we should do a slum. Right here. Happiness goes down, but the brown should skyrocket. We can put another one in. Yeah, let's do it. Okay, people are getting a little cranky. We'll throw a tavern in. Anything else to provide happiness? Like I want? What do gardens do? I think here. Gardens give me beauty. Lots of beauty. Which is culture. I don't really need that. You provide security, which is happiness, at the expense of beauty. Oh, here we go. So, yeah. That needs to go next to a tavern, right? Placing them reduces the negative. Yeah. So, we need to put constabularies next to these taverns. Put one there, and we can put one over here. And we can put one over here. As soon as we can afford it, we'll put one there. Our culture is dropping pretty fast, but we can fix that. Okay, everything's looking alright. We just gotta fix the culture, which is like a church. Um, what's trading post do? You can actually see it here, I suppose. So, a church will give us culture. Um, a trading post will give us prosperity and hurts culture. Is church the only thing that's going to give us culture? The leaf or the little or the faith thing? Oh, gardens. Okay, we'll throw some gardens in. Gardens go good next to here. Next to the church. If I throw in multiple ones around a church. There we go. Look at the culture skyrocket. Oh yeah, we love we love the gardens. Prosperity is going to go down go down now. Prosperity is either the wrench or the scroll, which would be like a school. A school would be a good one. We don't have a trading post yet. Let's throw a trading post in. Look, they've got 24 culture now. Uh, let me read the trading post real quick. Trading posts. Allows the city to import export goods. Improve that one. Expensive beauty. Nearby workshops, blacksmiths, and factories. Increase the trading post. Okay, so put it next to a workshop. Which one's a workshop? It is that one, the blue one. Okay, so put it over here. Okay, and now with the trading post, we can actually do this. Um, so we have lots of clothes apparently in our town where we are we are exporting. We can sell them away and buy things that will help us out. So um, actually, everything right now is fine. So we don't need to buy anything at the moment. But if we needed to, say something was going down, we could actually buy like say our culture was going down. We could buy a bunch of jewelry, which would help our culture score. I think now it's just time to focus on some uh, some slums. The town's looking good. Let's throw some slums in. <laughs> and uh, some villas. Let's crank out some of those. I think we're doing all right. I think we're doing good. Um, oh, we're not, oh, we're not getting a population because we don't have enough farms. Oh, farms. Okay. And farms, if I remember correctly, farms do better. Get a bonus when built on grass. Placing multiple wheat farms nearby increases their food output by 15%. So we put them next to each other is really the idea. Something like that. Population looks like it just stopped. Which means that we need more houses. Oh, look at the happiness go down. And there, oh, prosperity. Prosperity needs to go back up. Which we had before with... <laughs> nice song. Uh, the school will do it. Which we want to put a school next to this guy. We don't want to put next to each other, though, so let's just throw it up here. And this is an instance where we can use our trading post. So we have tons of happiness. So we can get rid of our, like our medicine. We can drop it and put it all into books. And that should rise. There we go. Yeah, there we go. There we go. All right. Now... We just need people. Slums, but not not next to each other. 
It's going to hurt our prosperity, but we can fix that. Let's just do some cottages now. I think that's enough, that's enough slums for a while. Okay, there's our 2,000 population. Now, we just need to focus on getting prosperity and culture up at the expense of happiness. So it doesn't matter if we lose happiness. We can gain, we, we can lose that. We got to gain prosperity, though. A school will do that. What was my uh, my goal? 15 prosperity, only 10 cultures all I need. Oh, we're almost there. We're about to get it. Oh, we lost our happiness. So we need to gain the leaf. We can gain some happiness and lose... Well, let's throw another tavern in. Taverns. Everyone likes taverns. That'll help balance that out a bit. We just need a little bit of culture. Oh, there we go. Oh, I think we got, I think we got it. We'll just go to the trading post, and we will sell a little bit of this back and buy a little bit of jewelry. Ah, there we go. We got it. Congratulations. Your accomplishment has piqued the interest of the king. Excellent. All right, so there we go. That is uh, Lord Mayor. There's all these different, uh, different uh, missions that you can go to. The next one is Galloway. Which is just a different sort of uh, mission. So I have 120 days. I didn't even look and see how many days we had we had left. But uh, this one's all about prosperity. We won't go into this. So I just want to see the map. Oh, look, we got mountains now. Mountains can't be built on. Tundra. Oh, okay, okay, cool. Anyways, I will put a link to the description to this game. It's only two dollars. It's dirt cheap. Um, and uh, yeah, it's rather interesting. I was I was sent the key. I don't know if I mentioned this. I was sent the key from the developer. The developer name is uh, John McCann, which, uh, as far as I know, this is this is it. This is the only game of his on Steam, anyways. Uh, but anyways, he sent me a key, so thank you very much. Um, but uh, yeah, so there's the game. So thanks again for watching, and the link is in the description. I will see you next time.